So hello everyone. Welcome to this new session. So in the previous session we have solved uh, two problems related to cascaded form, right? We have seen two important problems related to cascaded form. How to solve those problems? So now in this session I'm going to solve only one problem, which is one lengthy problem and uh, multiple times repeated problem. Very important problem. Uh, this question has been repeated uh, two to three times in the previous year question paper, so that's why I have solved it. And these kind of problems would be appearing for the exams for seven to eight marks. Okay, very important problem. What here they have told us to obtain both direct and cascaded form structure re, uh, structure realization using of this system function that is h of z. Okay. So here they have given this equation h of z. For this we should be obtaining both direct and cascaded form. So you would, here you would be getting one question that direct form you can obtain that is by direct equation we have given checking for a, a linear phase and a by of n writing and a, a direct form we can do it. But the trouble comes here in is cascaded form. So how we can write the cascaded form for here for you, we, you know right for cascaded form you should be having two set, separate set of equations and should be solving it. But we have here only we have one equation. That is now we should be simplifying this equation in such a way that this one set of equation we should be writing in two separate set of equations. Okay, that is the trickiest part here that I'm going to tell you how to solve it. Okay, these kind of pro problems should be appearing for the exam. It is 100% sure. Okay, whatever I have solved till now is basics. These problems right would be appearing for exams that is obtain both direct and cascaded form like this would, they would be giving you one complex equation where direct form you can solve it easily but cascaded form is a bit difficult. Okay. Very important problem guys, note it and listen this video, don't skip any part of this video, please watch till end without skipping anything okay, if you want to understand it and score good, good marks in this kind of problems. So please watch it. So this is the question, first direct form, direct form we can do it uh, in the simple way, direct form df, that is first check for linear phase 1, 2, so the it is not in linear phase, so directly write the direct form structure before that, name this equation y of n. It is 1 is replaced by x of n plus 5 by 2 x of n minus 1 plus 2 x of n minus 2 plus 2 x of n minus 3. Right? Write the direct form structure now. That is 1 input x of n. So how many delays are there? 1, 2, 3. So draw 3 delays one below the other. From here draw one final summer. So the coefficient of x of n is 1. Z inverse, z inverse, z inverse. x of n minus 1. This you know, no need to name. Okay, we'll draw the structure. This I'm doing for your understanding here. That is, this is x of n minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. You should be knowing it. While drawing in the exam, please don't waste time in writing these and all. Okay? Yeah. So from here, the coefficient is 5 by 2 it will be getting summed up with this one for that we need one more summer since we have two one more delay here here we will be getting final output y of n so from this point the coefficient is 2 one more summer so this is meeting here and the coefficient here is 2 again so this would be our final direct form structure okay now the complex part that is the main question here that is cascaded form sometimes they would be asking to obtain both direct and cascaded form or they would be asking to only obtain cascaded form and like this equation they would be giving you okay yeah so cascaded form now write the given equation h of z is equal to 1 plus 5 by 2 z inverse plus 2 z power minus 2 plus 2 z power minus 2. Now the first step here what to do is very easy. The check for the highest degree term that is here it is z to the power minus 3. Okay. Now what you should doing is multiply and divide the highest the opposite of the highest degree term for this whole equation that is the opposite of this highest degree term here we have z power minus 3 the opposite of this term is z power 3 okay multiply 
and divide by the highest opposite of the highest degree term okay first step is that so in this case here it is z power minus 3 so here multiply and divide by z to the power 3 that is z cube okay do that and uh, rewrite this equation of h of z that is first write the highest uh, degree term uh, that is, uh, is z to the power minus 3 and z cube is 0 right so this would be our first term that is uh, Z, uh, 2 only so that's why that should be writing at last so 1 into z cube then 5 by 2 into z inverse 5 by 2 z inverse into z cube that is plus 5 by 2 and 3 minus 1 that is z square then we have 2 in 2 z minus 2 and z cube that is plus 2 3 minus 2 is 1 so it's 2 z plus z to the power minus 3 and z cube that is minus 3 plus 3 is 0 so you would be left with only 2 whole divided by z cube okay now what to do is now you should be using uh, some calculator stuff calculator is required now now if you see observe the numerator very carefully it is what the third order polynomial right for this now try to find the roots so whenever like this problem is we are getting like this equation we would be getting we would be trying to find only one single root because whenever we have in cascaded form they would be giving you such equation that like this you would be getting one equation for this try to find the roots by using the calculator that you already know okay again i'm going to tell you how you would be getting three roots right since this is the third order polynomial three roots you would be getting it is sure that out of those three roots two roots are complex terms you should be neglecting those complex terms and whatever one real root we get right that you should be considering and rewriting this equation that will tell you how now here this is one equation here z cube plus 5 by 2 z square plus 2 z plus 2 right so go for mode setup equation it is of the third order form so ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d so here it is asking to press the button 4 so press 4 and fill the coefficients okay that is for one first is z cube 1 equal to then 5 by 2 that is 2.5 then we have 2 and the final root is 2 so you would be getting three roots here so first root we got one real root that is minus 2 so second root is complex see second and third are complex so neglect those two two complex terms and one root we got here that is minus 2 right so I have told you that how to represent this in minus uh, uh, that root here that is h of z now since we have minus 2 I have told you you should be representing the roots like this right whenever you write, write the equation z minus of minus 2 z minus of that root so minus minus is plus so z plus 2 so first you write like this and divided by z cube so what would be coming here is now what you are doing is that uh, division part, standard division which I have already discussed in mathematics that ho hope that you might be knowing it, that let us do it. That is this term divided by z plus 2, whatever the in the quotient whatever we get that we should be writing it here. Okay, that is z cube plus 5 by 2 I am writing it as 2.5 z square plus 2z plus 2 divided by z plus 2. Okay, do the division part that is z and z cube. How much times uh, we should be multiplying this to get z cube that is z square into z is z cube. Okay. Then z square into 2 that is plus 2 z square. So again we should change the sign right. This is minus and minus. So this will be getting cancelled. 2.5 minus 2 is 0 0.5 z square. Bring this down. Okay. That is plus 2 z. Now z into how much times is 0 0.5 z square. That is plus 0.5 z 0.5 z into z is 0.5 z square right in order to cancel this we should be doing this hope you know it 0.5 z square and 0.5 z into 2 that is 1 z so here the sign changes again this will be cancelled 2 minus 1 is 1 again we would left with z and 2 so z and how much times it is z z into 1 is z right z and 2 ones are change the signs both would be getting cancelled and the remainder will be left with 0 and the quotient here we have z square plus 0.5 z plus 1 okay now what to do is split this denominator to these two terms that is h of z is equal to z plus 2 
divided by the highest degree in this is z power 1 right so here split this as z here and here you split it as z square plus 0.5 z plus 1 divided by the highest degree is z square so z square so if you see here z into z square is z cube so I have separately split it now what to do is divide this separately by z that is h of z is equal to z by z you know that z by z is 1 2 by z that is 2 by z can also be written as 2 z inverse right that is plus 2 z inverse and here z square by z square is 1 0.5 z by z square 1 z would be getting cancelled this would be left with 1 z that if you bring it to the numerator that is 0.5 z inverse 1 by z square we can write it as z power minus 2 so this is the h of z we got here now okay for this cascaded form I told you right we should be getting in this form for cascaded form we have brought it here now the rest of the calculation is simpler that is h of z split it as h1 of z and h2 of z check for the linear phase condition if it is in linear phase draw the linear phase structure and finally the first first structure output and second structure input join it and write the cascaded form structure okay so next the rest of the part is simpler let us do that quickly first write h1 of z y1 of n that is this is not in linear phase since we have only two terms so x1 of n plus 2 x1 of n minus 1 okay for this write the df structure one summer so coefficient is 1 since we have only one delay so that is z inverse and join it and this is y1 of n here the coefficient is 2 right yeah so this is the first structure very simple now next is h2 of z the term is 1 plus 0.5 z inverse plus z power minus 2 if you observe here the first and last coefficients are same so this is in linear phase so y2 of n is equal to x2 of n plus 0.5 x2 of n minus 1 plus x2 of n minus 2 so draw the linear phase structure two delays are there so draw two delays one below the other this is x2 of n x2 of n minus 1 z inverse z inverse so the common coefficient here is 1 so add them first 1 and here the coefficient is 0.5 or 1 by 2 put the summer add them together and here the input is output is y2 of n so this is the a direct form linear phase structure now we should be combining them and writing it in cascaded form final cascaded form structure right so do that this now input is changed to x of n from here we have one delay right that is z inverse 1 and here it is 2 this continues and this inputs get vanished here we have one delay here so from here I am just copying the structure that's it this is 1 this is 1 by 2 and I am drawing the summer here and the output here is y of n not y2 of n y of n okay so this is the cascaded form structure for this whole problem so we have take, uh, talk, taken around 15 minutes for this problem I have I thought that this problem was important so that's why I have tried to solve it so that's all for this session guys in the next session we are going to see with one more kind of uh, structures that is uh, from the fifth module okay so till now we have done this X, FIR structures right those were from the fourth module so in the next session we are going to deal with IIR structure okay FIR stands for finite impulse response okay and IIR stands for infinite impulse response there is one single change in IIR structures that I am going to tell you while explaining 
test all the terms uh, test all the what to say problems and uh, drawing these kind of blocks are very easy slight changes are there that i'm going to tell you okay so that's all for this session guys like share subscribe to our channel thank you